G'day guys, this is Captain Noob here today with the Furious Deadeye laser rifle. Now the purpose of this weapon here today is using the mod to make the standard laser rifle in its most recognizable form good. And I think we'll achieve that just fine. Starting off here we can see that while it doesn't stack furious damage very fast as it's not optimized with it like an automatic laser rifle would, we can see that Using the Deadeye effect, we can greatly increase our DPS as we fire about the same speed in slow down time as we do real time, which allows us to stack it just a little bit faster. In addition to this, we, our accuracy is also increased when it comes to the slow down time because enemy movements are a little less sporadic and more predictable, allowing us to get easier shots in. An example, headshots are a lot easier to get with this weapon just because they're moving nice and slow and none of the staggering that they do will throw your aim off because it's more predictable to land those hits. Although it does help when they do crouch and sit still. First room cleared, we'll move on to the mid bit here. The slow level gunner usually goes down easily, indeed he does. Getting a little bit of sneak attack critical on him, just to boost our damage a little bit. Take down these turrets to make sure they don't stagger us while we're in third person. We'll wait for our Deadeye effect thing to come back and then we'll clean him out. We've been spotted now so we can hopefully get in a heap of shots while he's sitting still. We did reload our weapon before moving to make sure we don't have to sit through the animation again. Let's not get overwhelmed here, so we'll just take out one of them at a time. We'll close that door, force them to come to us. Should be opening that door pretty soon. There yeah, they do. Quickly reload while they scramble towards the door again. Very good. You can see there that the stagger there was pretty tame, but Normally, if you hit enemies hard enough, they do this whole animation where they they jolt their head back and looks like it's hard enough to get whiplash. But it, in normal circumstances, it can throw your aim off. So having that little bit more of predictability in your enemies as you're firing at them increases your accuracy by quite a lot. And you can actually jump around when in slow time mode, like that, so that's pretty cool. Slowing down time actually alters the entire physics system, so it's fun to play around with when you're actually in combat too, which is, you know, a pretty cool feature. We'll keep moving up here, take out this last turret. He goes down very easily. And there you go, so a pretty decent weapon for mobs, even at a higher level. We'll move on to some monsters now. Alright, so you joined me with Swan on a quite honestly miserable day, so let's find out what the power of a furious laser rifle is. First of all, just getting as many sneak attack criticals as possible, as usual, and getting as many hits as we possibly can in to make sure we get the damage stacking early before he detects us. We'll keep backpedaling so he's, we stay out of detection for as long as possible. You can see that Furious is starting to take an effect now, eating up larger and larger chunks of his health bar as we go along, which is very nice indeed. Brainstorm is helping us stay undetected here, so it's fairly decent weather for it, I suppose, all things considered. Looks like we'll have no further trouble than to just kill him right now. He'll try to throw a rock, but he'll miss, and he'll die. So that was a fairly easy swan kill. The furious effect obviously is going to make boss killing a lot easier if you can just get 
as many shots as you can on target, and letting the damage stack as it goes, we'll find something else to kill. Alright, so you joined me in the glowing sea today, and the today's target is the putrid bloatfly. Now this guy moves around very quick and sporadically because obviously he's a bloatfly, but with the help of the Deadeye effect, we can get lots of accurate shots in while time is slowed down, so that's very good. And while we're at it, we might as well pop a few bat shots for just some um, guaranteed damage. Starting to do very good damage on him now as Furious starts to stack really high. Just dodge him like a maniac when we're reloading or waiting for the Deadeye effect to sort of come back. Because there is a delay on how the Deadeye effect works if you go straight in and out of sights as soon as the slow time is over it won't work. I'll demonstrate it here. See how the first time it didn't work, you have to wait just a little, like just a second or so before it comes back. We'll jump around like a maniac again, dodging his attacks, go back into slow motion and obliterate him. Let's go find out what he had on his corpse. Just a whole lot of ammo and possibly a, yeah, a legendary item. Alright, so that was a giant bloat fly. Let's uh, go find something else then. Alright, introducing the one, the only, Death Skull Red Scorpion Assassin. Everybody give a warm welcome to this giant ass freak of a thing. Now, I'm not used to fighting Red Scorpion monsters, so this is, un this is previously untreaded ground for me. But his pathing seems to be failing here, so... That's good for him. Oh, jeez. Uh, yes, anyone with arachnophobia, um, I would suggest looking away now because this is one big arachnid indeed. Fun fact, scorpions aren't insects. They're arthropods, which means arachnids, like spiders. Looks like my Fax have pissed Matilda off here, so she'll do lots more damage to this thing. And down he goes. A relatively easy fight compared to the Death Claws around here. Oh, isn't that just adorable? He looks like he's sleeping. Look how many eyes he's got. I like scorpions, they're pretty cool creatures. Alright, so that, that's it for the Furious Deadeye Laser Rifle. Again, if you'd want to use this weapon, pick up Peter Hicks's Legendary Upgrade to Crafting Mod. Links will be in the description. This is a vanilla weapon, so no DLC is needed, so that's all you need. Thank you for watching, I'll see you again soon.